Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic that what is the comparison of Pimbok Guide 6 with the Pimbok Guide 7. Uh, friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or uh, you are planning to give exam a PMP in near future. So let's start friend. First of all, I will request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. First of all, friend, we have to understand what is PIMBOK guide actually. And PIMBOK guide stands for Project Management Body of Knowledge. It is a book issued by uh, the PMI, Project Management Institute, and it has the fundamentals or you can say the uh, basic guide for project management. This book is basically, PIMBOK guide is basically fundamental for PMP exam as well uh, because the exam is basically based on the uh, PIMBO guide as well, project management body of knowledge. However, the main course outline is ECO exam content outline. Whenever you are planning to give exam uh, uh, for PMP, you must have to review the uh, ECO as available on the PMI.org. <clears throat> now, the PIMBO guide seventh edition, it is the latest edition issued in the mid of 2022. And the PIMBO Guide 6 edition, it is the previous version of the uh, PIMBO Guide 7 version. This is the PIMBO Guide 6 edition and this is the PIMBO Guide 7 edition. Now, the PIMBO Guide 6 edition is basically focused on the process-based approach and the PIMBO Guide 7 edition is based on the principle-based approach. Now, we must have to remember one thing that uh, PIMBOK 7th is not a replacement of the PIMBOK Guide 6th edition. So if you are basically, for example, your organization is focused on process-based approach, so you can use the PIMBOK Guide 6th edition. If your organization is focused on principle-based approach, then, so then you can focus on the PIMBOK 7th edition. However, PIMBOK Guide 7th edition is not the replacement of the 6th uh, edition. Uh, the main, uh, if we talk about main uh, differences between PIMBOK Guide 6 edition and PIMBOK Guide 7th edition, as per the PIMBOK Guide uh, 6 edition, there were five process groups, initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling, and next is the uh, closing. However, in the PIMBOK Guide 7th edition, the closing process group has been eliminated. Why? Because it has the concept behind that the closing activities are the part of the other processing group like planning, execution, and monitoring and controlling. <coughs> so that is why the um, uh, closing process group has been eliminated in the 7th uh, edition. <coughs> there are two knowledge areas, stakeholder management and resource management has been added in the PIMBO guide 7th edition. The main focus is basically in the PIMBO guide 7 is shifted from the traditional process oriented approach to a more dynamic and flexible approach and that is called as the tailoring. Tailoring means that uh, PIMBOK Guide 7 tells you that you can tailor your project. Tailor means that you can adjust your uh, approach, your things, your methodology according to the needs and uh, according to the requirement of your project. For example, if uh, as per your project, for example, you only need uh, three things, uh, three, uh, three processes. So you can focus on that, you can adopt on, on that. So uh, basically PIMBOK 7 says that the outcome is more important and you can tailor the methodology, tailor the things according to your needs and requirements. However, the PIMBOK Guide 6 is very rigid as per the process oriented approach. Uh, next is the focus on the Agile methodologies. The PIMBOK Guide 7 has a more focus on the Agile methodologies as per uh, as compared to PIMBOK 6. Um, uh, the PIMBOK PMI has introduced the Agile Practice Guide which describes applying Agile principles and practices to project management. So that is why uh, PIMBOK Guide 7 has more focus on the uh, Agile methodologies and you will definitely see the Agile uh, based questions in the PMP exam as well. That is why the, this is the reason as well. So uh, Agile methodologies has much section, much focus in the PMBOK Guide 7th edition as well. 
there are few uh, changes in the terminologies as well pinbox guide has uh, like for example uh, has changed many terminologies for example uh, for instance the term project management has been replaced with the term project leader okay the pinbox guide 7 uh, pinbox guide 6 always used the term project management however the pinbox guide 7th edition used the term project leader also the term deliverables has been replaced with the output because it is a more comprehensive term term than uh, that encompasses tangible and intangible result so basically these are the main uh, differences as compared to the uh, pinbox guide 6 edition uh, i'm sure friend that if you have studied already the pinbox guide 6 edition and now you are studying the pinbox guide 7 edition uh, you will see major major differences uh, the approach of pinbox guide 6 and 7 why because the pinbox guide 6 has more focus on the process and the pinbox guide 7 has more focus on the principles uh, so these two books are uh, has very major uh, differences as per their uh, approach as per their book uh, terminologies and you will definitely see major differences in that so friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends